What is the most important thing to do before you go to college? Hi everybody, Dave Sullivan here for the Credit Guy TV. I had a friend recently call me who was going into their second term of college and they needed to apply for loans. Well, the loans that they were applying for considered credit score. Many times kids who are in their first year of college have not built up a sufficient credit history and these college loans are going to be based on that credit history. So the most important thing to do before you go to college is to build a great credit history. If you do have one or two credit cards, you're ahead of the game. Hopefully you have one or two bank credit cards, but if you have a store credit card, at least you have something. And you want to make sure to maintain a three to five to seven uh, percent balance on that credit card at the reporting date prior to you applying for the loan. So if they're going to pull your credit report in January, you want to make sure that at the end of December you have three to seven percent on that credit card in order to boost your credit score as high as it can be when you apply for that loan. Zero is not as good as three to seven percent. Really, Five to nine percent is what I've been saying in the past, but three to seven is a more cautious way, especially if you only have a few credit cards and they're small balances. You really want to be at the lower end of that. So that's why I'm saying now three to three to seven percent rather than five to nine. Uh, the other thing you might, might want to consider is if your parents or grandparents have a a credit card that they've had for a long time and never been late on that credit card and that credit card has a low balance, you may want to ask them for you to be listed as a co-credit card holder or an authorized user. I would prefer that you go to a co-credit card holder. Now you don't have to ask for a credit card from your parents or your grandparents. You can just be listed on that account and you need to do that about three months before you apply for the loan. It might take one month, but it might take longer. So three months out before you apply for the loan, if you can get listed on a parent or grandparent's credit card that has a long credit history and a low low balance, never late, that's what you want to do. That way, when you apply for these loans, you're going to get the best possible rate. And these are fixed rate loans. So you're going to apply for a loan right now that you're probably going to have to start to pay back and if you have not built up a sufficient credit history, you're going to be penalized because, um, you know, you don't have that great history. So build up the credit history a little bit before you apply for those loans. And there's a few things you can do right there. If you want more advice on how to improve your credit score, go to my six steps to a better credit score at getloanready.com. It's all free. You follow the six steps and your credit score will be better every month moving forward. Uh, so that's Dave Sullivan here for the Credit Guy TV. So you, with a little bit of me, we're going to change the credit industry. Thank you.